Real quickly before I leave the ebook behind, I just wanted to mention that if you click on a section, sometimes they'll have video presentations. It depends on the textbook, but this book has video presentations for this section of the book. So you can click on those and watch those, or your students can. So those are kind of nice. Okay, next to Tools for Success. Now, what's available here? Honestly, it depends a lot on what book you're in. So you can see here there's a lot of um, statistics stuff. There's a program here called StatCrunch, there's data sets, there's technology manuals, all that good stuff. Let me pick a different course. Let me pause for a second. I'll be right back. Here's a different book. This is the 131 book, the algebra book. And you can see there's a basic math review card, there's a basic algebra review card. Let me click on one of those just so you can see. There it is. So some basic stuff, six pages of algebra review, that kind of thing. Um, concept ideas, videos, um, calculator tutorials, all that good stuff that's available from the publisher. So these are like little publishing, which the to me helps that are made by the publisher. So that's kind of nice. Um, that's tools for success. Not every course has it. For example, the 120 course doesn't have that as an option. So it just depends on what book it is. Um, so let me go back to my other book. Hold on one second. Okay, I'm back in it. Um, then there's the multimedia library. Let's click on that. And then you'll have to choose um, what chapter you want, or you don't have to. You can just do, you know, I'll do all chapters. Come back, all chapters. And I'm going to select all. You don't have to, but I'm going to. And then you can see, doo -doo -doo, scrolling down, there are lecture videos for every single section in this book. There's a PowerPoint presentation for each chapter. There's the textbook, which is the same as what we found with the ebook. And there are even some applets here. Okay, so different books have different things. Let me go show you the 131 book real quick. It occurred to me, <laughs> you might wonder, wonder how I'm doing this. Well, what I'm doing is I'm clicking on courses, this guy right here at the top, and then I'm just picking the other course. So I go back to my Pearson, then I pick a different course. I thought you might be interested in that. So let me click on the multimedia library for this book. Poof, there it is. Okay, so let me select all, click on select all, and find now. You don't have to select every single thing, but I just wanted you to see. So this book in particular has a lot of animations, which actually are little mini lectures, like tiny little bit lectures of just one topic by the author. And it's, there's the textbook, there are some PowerPoints, but these are per section, and there are some section video lectures. Okay, And again, all that comes from the publisher, all that stuff. So this is a great tool for students um, if they have to miss class, or even if they were there but they're not getting it still, tell them to watch the videos, tell them to, to take notes on the PowerPoint slides, right? It's all available to them. So that's the multimedia library. Now let's go see if it's communication next for the other one. Um, like you're going to see here, I'll show you how to get their courses, and then I'm just going to click on the other course. What's available button-wise kind of changes depending on what you're interested in. Ah, see, I have communication next and um, the other one, but here I have it down a bit, but that's okay. Let me click on the Pearson Tutor Center. And again, this isn't available um, in all, I don't know if it's available in all courses, but you might be able to find this button somewhere. But basically it's just a publisher, um, a free service to students that um, have purchased access to the book. They can get some free tutoring online and via phone from Pearson, which is the publisher of the book. Then there's the communication button. And I have turned off everything in here except for these um, announcements, which if I click on that, there, leads me back to the same thing as this announcements page up here. Let me click on communication discussion board. Honestly, for a face-to-face -face class, I don't really use discussion boards, so I could probably turn that off too. Um, I don't really need that. Oh, this isn't a face-to-face. -face. This isn't online. Then I definitely need that. that. And then communication, sending an email. This is how I can send an email to all my students at the same time. All the students that are in this course, I can send an email saying, hey there. Okay. I've turned off everything else, and I'm going to show you how to turn off everything else as well um, in another couple tutorials. Then there's the discussion board one, which has my discussion boards that I made it. You just add a forum, and you can type in whatever you want and allow whatever postings you want. Do you want them to post anonymously or not? That kind of thing. And click Submit, and you've got a forum. All right, last but not least will be assignments and actually starting to change these buttons. That's my next tutorial. See you then.